A snag in America's attempt to return to the moon. The company behind a lunar lander that was launched into space earlier today says that it has run into technical difficulties. Astrobotic Technologies Peregrine Lander. Lander was ab launched aboard a rocket from Cape Canaveral in Florida. You see it right there. It separated successfully from the rocket, but the company says its spacecraft experienced an anomaly that stopped it from pointing its solar panels at the sun. Without the ability to charge batteries and maintain a power supply, the mission will not be able to proceed. Now, this is the first lunar lander to be sent to the moon by the U.S. since the Apollo missions of the 1970s. All right, for more, I want to bring in Keith Cowing. Now he's editor of NASAWatch.com. Keith, good to see you. Happy New Year. When I hear Mission Control use the word anomaly, immediately I think of the 1986 Challenger disaster. Um, how does it apply to this situation? Well, yeah, it's an, I mean, those are two totally different things. But, yeah, it's NASA has ways of saying things like having a bad day. It would be another way to phrase this if I still worked at NASA. But um, it's a problem. Uh, in essence, and I only have one little spacecraft model here, but it's supposed to be pointing at the sun, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's not. And without the power, you can't run the computers or the landing system. So unless they fix that, that's kind of it. It's just going to go sailing past the moon. What, what can they fix it? I mean, can the crews here on Earth, can they, have they exhausted all their possibilities? No. Oh, no. And, and there's always a backup to a backup to a backup. And there could be some ways that you can just turn the spacecraft really quick, ways you would normally not want to, to get the batteries charged. Then you have some time to worry about how to fix things. It could be a software code, a bad command. It could be a number of things. So they're not done yet. But they got to do this quick before the batteries run down because they're not being charged. So there's a little sense of urgency. I, I know people watching this may, may think, you know, the last time NASA tried to send anything to the moon um, was, what, 1972 or so. It's been about yeah, half a century. And here they're trying to do it again. And on their first launch, they have a technical problem. How much of a setback would you say this is for the program, but for also its credibility? Yeah, well, the last time I did that, I was in high school and I had brown hair. Um, it's been a while, and you got to say, well, why is it so hard? Yeah. Especially when China's doing crazy stuff in India and so forth. It's rocket science. Now, there was good news today, though. The rocket that launched it, the Vulcan Centaur, is the first time it was launched. Brand new rocket, American engines. It's, it's just great stuff. So there was a success today. Unfortunately, when the spacecraft separated from the rocket, that's when the problems began. So uh, mm. the only answer I have is not NASA's. They say real space is hard. It's like, well, it broke. Sometimes oh, things break. They, they do. They do, um, especially in outer space. So what happens if then this can't be repaired? What does this do to the, the, the whole project, to the Artemis mission of what, hoping to get people back on the moon by what, uh, 2026? Well, first of all, the spacecraft is my moon. It's going to go right by the moon. So that's that. But the way they're doing this now, this is a commercial. It's not a NASA mission. NASA gave them money to buy some payload space, but this is privately done. And there's more risk that goes with that, but it's cheaper. So mm -hmm. the whole thing is, do you spend a lot of money on one thing that's expensive, or do you take a risk with a few cheaper things? If they all work great, if one doesn't, well, we've got another one in the pipeline. And we do. Another one's going to be launched in a few weeks. Okay. So it's picking your risk. Which mm -hmm. risk do you want to confront? Money, not enough. Technology, mm -hmm. maybe not good enough. Keith Gowing, editor of NASAWatch.com. Keith, it's always good to have your valuable analysis. Thank you. My pleasure.